welcome back to Testing Basics. Today we're doing white t-shirts, perhaps the ultimate basic of all the basics. You know the drill, I've got five from High Street to High End. Starting off with ASOS. It's really hard to tell what's what here. ASOS, here we go. So this is six pounds. What a bargain. I've got it in a size 10. Fits really well. At the moment, I'm like a true size eight. I would say with this, if you went for your normal size, it would still have a slightly oversized fit. It's not a skinny fitting thing, but it's also not oversized as such. It's just a really, really good fit, actually. Uh, it's 100% cotton, really simple t-shirt. It's got quite a thin, um, oh, what would the word for that be? You know, like the ribbed section of the on the neckline, on the crew neck is quite thin. These are all crew necks, by the way all short sleeves so they're really 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 similar all of these it's going to be a tough comparison um but yeah this one's got quite a thin ribbed section on the neckline and just cap sleeves fits really really nice feels really nice it's nice and soft six pounds it's definitely a real bargain i was i was impressed by how cheap that was because i would expect t-shirts from asos to be around the 12 pound mark which is actually the price of the next one or is the next one 13 pounds? Uh, the next one is 13 pounds. Now I've got some brands I've never ever tried out here before. The first of which is Brandy Melville. Now I really want to try this out, mostly because obviously I'm in London now and there is a store in London. I did order online. Now either I'm an idiot or their photos online are dreadful because I ordered a white t-shirt and arrived and it was pink. And I checked and it, when I really looked, I was like, fair enough it is pink, but it kind of looks white, but it teaches me for doing it in a rush. Uh, but there is a shop in London if you're based in London. The reason I want to try out this brand is because it's one size fits all, which just blows my mind. So I wanted to give that a go to see how can anything actually be one size fits all. And let's see how this gets on, basically. So this was £13, as I said, uh, one size fits all. It's also 100% cotton. I'm going to talk about the one size fits all aspect a lot at the end. As, I mean, it's not, basically. How can that possibly be a thing? This is a size 8, I would say, this is a size 8, 10 at a push, uh, but it's stretchy, it would work as oversized, but if I had to put a size on this, I would say it's a size 8, uh, it's Brandy Melville, £13, one size fits all, which I'm going to look at later, as I said, 100% uh, cotton as well. Next up from there we have Under the Stories, this one was £60, £17, also 100% cotton. Uh, European 36, oh it'll be written on the screen what size that is, I think that's a 10, yeah I'm pretty sure that's a 10. Uh, this has a really nice fit to it, again, I mean it's actually really similar to the ASOS one, this one, I think it has a less, it doesn't have a ribbed, oh no it is ever so slightly, yeah it is, it is super similar, I think the sleeves might be a tiny bit longer, again it's not an oversized fit as such, it's quite boxy, definitely not slim fitting, just for reference I really like t-shirts that fit like that, I like to wear them tucked into my high waisted jeans as you know, so that slightly boxy fit I find really really flattering, um, so I'm, none of these are skin tight by any means, uh, but yeah this one fits similarly to the ASOS one definitely, so that was Amazon Stories, £17, also 100% cotton, now there's one t-shirt here that isn't 100% cotton and I've literally only just found this out when I've been looking online to get the information and more fool me for not having checked the label on this. I don't want to say too much about this t-shirt or this brand because I don't want to spoil the ending of this video but it's from American Vintage and the reason I'm mentioning and making such a big deal about this is because it has 10% Angora in it which is a material I generally avoid in clothing and is not something I would ever expect to see in a t-shirt. I've never, I, that's why I didn't check the label, I could feel, it doesn't feel like 100% cotton at all, um, but I would, would never think for a second that a t-shirt would have Angora in it, and maybe that's complete ignorance on my part, um, but yeah, I wanted to mention it because it isn't a material, I know, I don't know too much about it, but I know that the way they get that from the Angora rabbits is a particularly cruel method, so it's not something that I ever desperately want to promote on my YouTube channel, and had I checked, and I should have checked obviously before, um, I wouldn't have featured this t-shirt, however, it's too late now because I've done it and I've been wearing it and I've spent money on it and all of that. So this is American Vintage, £55, uh, what size, what, what size have I got, I think this is a size small, 86% um, viscose, 10% angora, 4% elastane. So I did just want to mention that, I didn't want to gloss over it or anything like that. 
This one is not is actually off the other three, a really ice white, and this is much more of a creamy sort of ivory white. Uh, it's really, really soft, super soft. It has a very different fit to the others. It doesn't have that boxy fit to it. The neckline is a lot less, the other's neckline sit, you know how like this t-shirt is, it kind of sits really nice around the neck and stays quite flat to the neck. This one scoops a little bit more despite being still a crew neck style. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't be featuring this had I known beforehand that it had Angora in it. And I just wanted to make that really clear. However, this is American vintage, 55 pounds and size small. I've never ever had anything from that brand before. And the most expensive brand is also something I've never had someone from something from it's shop redone and they're best known for their levi's that they do they like re um rework vintage levi's and then sell them for an eye-watering price they're like between two and three hundred quid i think loads of people have them they look flipping amazing but i'm just not willing to spend that much on it their t-shirt comes in it's still a very eye-watering 80 pounds pretty steep for a plain t-shirt I would have mine of Netta Porter, it's a size small. Again, it's slightly off-white. That's interesting that both the most expensive ones are. Online, this is definitely described as white though. It's not described as ivory or anything like that. Um, this is the only one that has, I don't know how to describe this. You know some, I'll do a close-up here, but you know some t-shirts have, um, like you can see the texture of the cotton. This is 100% cotton, by the way, this one again. Some t-shirts you can see the texture of the cotton on and it's almost just, well it just looks like a texture, that's the best way I can describe it. This has that, uh, the sleeves are slightly shorter than some of the others as well. Um, I got a size small as I said and it fits really really nicely. Um, again it's got a nice neckline, everything like that. Slightly more fitted than some of the others, ever so slightly. The Andalus Stories one and the ASOS one are probably the boxiest two. This is slightly more fitted. So yeah, that was redone. £80, extortionate for a white t-shirt, in a size small. Um, so yeah, I'm going to wear these over the next week, show you how I'm styling them up, wash them all, and then let you know my final thoughts on them. But I'm really excited about this one because I feel like a white t-shirt's been a long time coming. I don't know why I've not done this one sooner. Hey guys, so t-shirt number one is the ASOS one. I've had it up today with Andrew the Stories denim skirt, Gucci loafers, and then the white and still on the blazer, which I'm wearing literally every single day because I'm obsessed. So yeah, this was how that looked on. Um, I really, really liked this t-shirt. The things that I like about it are the high neck, obviously, but it just sits really nicely. I think the sleeves are a really good length. It's a good, slightly oversized fit, but still is really, really flattering. Um, it's just a really, really nice t-shirt. I have absolutely no complaints about it whatsoever. Would definitely wear it again. It hasn't been like scratchy, sweaty, anything. It's just felt like a nice, simple t-shirt to throw on and wear day to day. So yeah, I'm really, really impressed with it. Would definitely buy several of these um, considering they're so affordable as well. So I, yeah, I am impressed so far with this one. Hi guys, I've had on the End of the Stories t-shirt today. I'm dead into like mini skirt t-shirt blazer combo at the moment because the weather's been really nice. Had it on the Topshop skirt, my Stella McCartney blazer again, Topshop slide which I'm wearing all the time. Um, yeah, I really liked this one actually. Similarly to the ASOS one, I probably slightly prefer the longer sleeves on it when you've not got anything on over it. I think that looks a little bit better. So it probably is just beating the ASOS one. Um, definitely, excuse me, I've been having a few drinks. <laughs> um, definitely better than the shop redone one. Shop redone, redone shop. Well, you know what I mean, the one I had on yesterday. Definitely better than that. Um, it's been really comfortable, it's soft. It's been hot today, but I haven't felt, I've, I've been hot and sweaty, but because of the weather, it had, this has not made me feel hot and sweaty. Um, so yeah, I'm impressed. Maybe we'll see a difference in the wash, but I do doubt it, but we'll see, you never know. Hey guys, I've been slobbing around the house today. Table and chairs arrived, which is incredibly exciting. Um, but yeah, I've just had on the American Vintage t-shirt on and I'm thoroughly unimpressed by it. It's just gonna be something that I end up wearing to bed. I think it's really unflattering. You can see here the way, like I've just got on a normal plunge bra with a bit of lace on it. Um, and I personally don't mind it when you can see lace through a t-shirt on the bra or if you can see your nipples a little bit, I think it looks kind of cool. But this is just like two circles. It's so unflattering everything the way the fabric hangs like just just so incredibly unflattering there's nothing absolutely nothing for you this compared to the shop redone one if we're in the top end absolutely shop redone 
Um, but yeah, it's just, I'm just, I really, really am thoroughly unimpressed, I have to say, and it will be something I wear for bed because it's incredibly comfortable, I'll give it that. It's very, very soft. I think you can tell it's soft by the way it's hanging, but things like the ASOS one and the Under the Stories one is also really soft, but don't look this unflattering. So, this is my least favourite so far by a long way. I was really mean about that then, wasn't I, oh dear? Hi guys, so I just got back in, instantly took my makeup off, put my hair up and then realised I forgot to film my outfit today. Had on the shop redone t-shirt today with mango mini skirt, very old H&M long line blazer, top shop slides that I wear all the time and yeah I like it a lot. The t-shirt has been, I mean actually no I don't like it a lot, the t-shirt's been fine, it's been comfy, I like the way it looks, I actually kind of like the texture running through it, I think it looks quite nice. Um, I've been kind of hot and sweaty today, but again, not necessarily the t-shirt's full. But it's no better than the End of the Stories one and the ASOS one. I realise I've also done another day of a combination of mini skirt and long line blazer here as well, but as I said, I'm very into it. At least it's not the Stella McCartney blazer again, I'm forcing myself away from that. Um, but yeah, I've liked the t-shirt, but not enough in comparison to ASOS and End of the Stories to warrant spending that much more. Um, so yeah. It's been fine. So you don't need to go spend this much on a t-shirt basically, but if you wanted to, this one's fine. Hi guys, had on the Brandy Melville one today with some BDD jeans. I also wore my Topshop checkered coat um, and my Aquasura pumps. I've taken them off now and took them off as soon as I got in. But yeah, this was me today. I'll pop a photo in so you can see it a bit more properly as well. Um, this t-shirt's fine. I'm going to talk about the sizing of it because obviously that's the most interesting thing about Brandy Melville. At length at the, at the end of the video rather than now so it's fine but as an overview it's gonna fit you absolutely fine if you are pretty much bang on a size 8 I think well I'll talk about it more later on basically but yeah it's it fits me really well I like it it's comfortable comparable to the ASOS and Under the Stories I have no complaints about it well obviously the sizing thing is a bit of a cincher I don't see how this can actually be one size fits all basically uh, but yeah I'll talk about that a bit later on so for me I liked it um, I think it looks nice do you think it looks so much better than the American Vintage one yesterday uh, but I still probably prefer Aces and Under the Stories a little bit and as I said the sizing on this one is a bit of a cincher so yes I'm going to wash them all now and then on to the final segment okay then so the final section now I've made a rookie error Dr washed them all the same, dried some of them, I don't think this will be in frame, probably not, but I've got like old metal radiators, um, just popped them on there to air dry and it's left rust marks on four of them. So we're just gonna, I mean it's like really bad, I'm just gonna rewash them and put a bit of bleach on it and I think it'll come out, fingers crossed. Um, I just wanted to mention it but we're gonna overlook it because that is my fault and not the t-shirt's fault. The only one that's alright is the end of the stories one because I tried that one on the back of a chair. Um, anyway, so let's just ignore that. Moving on from there, uh, least favourite, no surprises, is going to be the American Vintage one, let alone because of the composition of it with the Angora, which you mentioned at the beginning. But there's no way that this is worth this much money. Um, it doesn't look expensive, I think it looks the cheapest. It doesn't fit well, it's not flattering. I will literally only wear this around the house and to bed now. And it was 50, 55 pounds, I think it was 55, wasn't it? So, yeah, just not no just yeah no basically um won't buy from the brand again won't buy t-shirts from there anyway definitely maybe i'll try out other i think they do knitwear and stuff so maybe i'll try knits when we do the more wintry ones but i was so unimpressed by this it was so unflattering and yes that one's the last place second to last place is going to be brandy melville because of the sizing now this is a fine t-shirt and if you are a size six to a ten then i do recommend this t-shirt but I don't see the point of them doing one size fits all when brands like Under the Stories and ASOS coming at a similar or lower price point and you can actually go and get your actual size. If you're a size 8 like I am, this is the ideal fit for you. It, I mean, even if you have big boobs, like ten, size 10 and up, no not size, size 12 and up I would say, or if you have big boobs, it's not going to be the ideal fit. You can definitely find something that fits much better by actually going out to a shop that stocks sizes. So I was interested to see how the one size fits all thing worked and I know it's a shop that probably appeals to a much younger audience as well, um, like probably mostly teenagers. When I went in there, as I said, it was just full of teenagers. Uh, so, you know, that makes more sense for it. But uh, again, I wouldn't rush to buy from there again. Well, actually, I could because it does fit, but it's not 
I'm not impressed by the fact that there isn't a, that much of an option there for different body types at all. So that one's going to come in second place. Oh, by the way, they've all washed fine, aside from the fact I've ruined them all. They have all washed fine. There's been no change with any of them. So if you were a size 8 and like to look at this t-shirt, then you could go for it. But I recommend the two other ones at a similar price point in favour of that. Um, in third place, I'm going to put the Shop Redone one. I like this t-shirt a lot and it does have a really nice fit to it. I like the kind of slub effect that's going through it. Um, it's not worth the money really. Um, £80 on a t-shirt is a bit extortionate. Just has a really nice fit to it. Feels nice on. I will wear this a lot. I know that I will wear this a lot. I quite like the fact it's not actually ice white. The same would go for the American vintage one if it wasn't so unflattering. It's quite nice that it's a more ivory colour um, and it looks really nice in denim as well. So I liked that about it. I like the t-shirt. You don't need to go spend this much money on a white t-shirt though at all. Would definitely be interested in at once, some point trying out the denim that they have. Um, I might just have to bite the bullet and buy a pair at some point so that I can review them for you guys because it's got me interested in the brand. While I don't think you need to go and spend this much money on a white t-shirt, um, it definitely has got me interested in having a look at a few more things from Redone. So yeah, if you felt like it, if you felt like you needed an £80 t-shirt, I would say I know the one for you. However, you can definitely get them for much cheaper because my two favourites are Anton Stories and ASOS. Now, I'm going to put the ASOS one in second place and I'm being super, super picky here. But the end of the stories one is ever so slightly softer without compromising any of the structure of the t-shirt at all. And the sleeves, the fit is just slightly better. The sleeves kind of sit nicely. There's really just subtle differences that make me feel like it fits me better. And there's overall softness of it. However, they're both fantastic t-shirts. This ASOS one for £6 is absolutely brilliant. Like if you... I don't know, I would buy these in bulk and just have them on rotation and ruin them one by one by drying things on a radiator, it seems. But it's such a good t-shirt for such a good price. It fits really well. It just, it looked really good, you know, compared to the, this is what blows my mind, compared to the American Vintage one, which actively looked bad, in my opinion, was so unflattering. And this looks so good for a fraction of the price. It's unbelievable. I'm hugely impressed by this. I do have other t-shirts from ASOS. Lots, uh, not lots, maybe be a bit of an overstatement, but a few plain t-shirts from ASOS. And in my experience, long term, they're absolutely fine in the wash. I've had no issue with any of the ASOS t-shirts I have. So going even further forward, I expect good things from this. Do recommend, it's a great white t-shirt. Uh, but yeah, the end of the stories one just wins. This is the only one that hasn't got rust on it as well, as, as I was saying. Um, but this was the one where I washed them all. I actually wore this again yesterday. This was the one that I reached for. Obviously, I have a lot of choice here now. And this was the one that I reached for. Like, I'm looking forward to wearing this one the most. So that's always really telling. Uh, it just fits really well. It's really, really soft. There is enough of a difference in how it feels for the ASOS one to qualify what is literally double in price. However, £13, 12 pounds No, £17, pounds, isn't it? Was it? Well, I can't remember. It'd be written somewhere. <laughs> however much it was. It's worth however much it was. £17, pounds, I think. Uh, so yeah, this one is coming in first place. And the stories are consistently strong in this series. Now when people say to me, what's your favourite high street brand? So often I'm like, I recommend And the Stories because I have so many pieces from them that have been really fantastic. So once again, And the Stories are reigning, reigning supreme. That was everything. I'm gonna do backless slip-on shoes next, which has reminded me I need to get on with ordering those. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.